Hello, everyone. Uh, I am back with more tips on how to use ChatGPT to make our lives as educators that much more easy and efficient. This one specifically has to do with using uh, ChatGPT to create resources from YouTube videos. This is a tip that a coworker of mine showed me, and I've been very happy with it. One thing to note right away, this is only going to work if the YouTube video has subtitles or closed captioning. Okay, so I have a video here about using uh, DNA to show how, to show human migration that I could use in my sixth grade humanities class, and it has subtitles, so I know I can use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, and I'm going to say show transcript. So here it's pulled up for me the moment by moment transcript from the video. I am going to highlight it all. I am going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back here to chat. All right. In chat, I am going to tell it. Please create five questions based on this video for a sixth grade humanities class. Questions should include comprehension, analysis, and evaluation because I want to hit those different levels on the Bloom's taxonomy scale. And then I am going to paste the transcript in there. And I'm going to let it go to work. All right. So it has created five questions for me, just like I asked. Uh, what is mitochondrial Eve and why does it, what does it have to do with blah, blah, blah. So here's a little comprehension. Here's some comprehension. Uh, why is it that looks like analysis to me? So it looks like it's given me, uh, what I asked for. If I were to actually use this in a lesson, I would go through and I would really evaluate each of those questions. Maybe I would prompt it for more analysis, more comprehension, whatever I want. So this is great. All well and good, but we as teachers know that watching the video and answering questions about it is not necessarily best practice. I want to increase engagement in my classroom, so I'm going to prompt it further. Okay, so I'm going to tell it, please create a processing activity based on this video that includes group discussion and artistic creation because I want different learning styles taking place in my classroom. And again, uh, just for clarity and specificity, I'm going to paste the transcript in there again and let's see what it does. Okay, and here it is. So it's giving me the objectives. It's giving me what materials I need and step by step instructions. So just looking through it quickly, it has included some group discussion like I asked. It has included some artistic creation like I asked. The last thing I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have it create a rubric for me so that I can assess this work. All right, so I'm going to tell it, please create a one to five rubric to assess this project based on sixth grade common core standards. If there were specific standards that I wanted to assess, I would I would make sure to include those. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be more general. All right. And here we have it. So it broke down what the one to five means and then it gave me specifics for it. So organization and presentation, critical thinking and problem solving. Uh, if I were to present this to students, I would one, make sure it's in student friendly language. I could prompt chat to do that for me. Um, some of the language here is a bit general, so I would, I would prompt it to be more specific. Um, and I would take this material and put it into something like a Google Sheet uh, so that it's really mapped out well for the students. But it's given me a good start here that now that I'm evaluating it, needs some revision. So I would make sure to go ahead and do that revision before um presenting this to students so there you have it creating resources based on youtube videos something that could have taken hours done in mere minutes uh once again chat gpt thank you for making my life as an educator that much better thank you take care everyone